Hello there internet, my name is White Dragons and welcome to a Minecraft Feed the Beast Launcher mod pack entitled Purgatory. Purgatory, you can get this off the Feed the Beast Launcher by going into third parties, clicking on codes, and clicking and typing in P-U-R-G-A-T-O-R-Y. I think that's the pronounced the right code. If not, you can always look it up on the um, Feed the Beast Launcher uh, forms. I believe that's where I got it from. And you can find it there along with some other good stuff. I love this. Uh, I don't know what this is. I'm afraid to know what this is. And I don't want to know what that is. So, just fair warning in advance. I have already looked, found a, a suitable area. Because it, after many deaths, I finally got to the location I wanted to be at. Uh, I like planes. Because uh, I've been playing Epicraft offline. And always having a planes area has always been nice and comfortable for me because of the temperature gauge. We don't have that in this in this particular mod pack. We do have Spice of Life and um, Hunger Overhaul. So you're not always going to be able to eat the same thing, but you don't have to worry about your temperature or how much thirst you have or are you going to go insane or anything like that. So yeah, that's always nice. It's always nice. So I'm actually going to let this load up. I'm going to hit pause here, or hit escape here. I'm going to let it load up, and I will be right. Okay, let's give this another shot, shall we? All right, so I need to get a piece of dirt here. And uh, anyways, Purgatory is not, like, on the top list of the... Oh, fuck me. It's not on the top list of the uh, mod packs, but it is up there, so... Do go look at it if you can. There are a couple like a couple of bugs, but not a lot to talk about. Damn, no chest. Maybe one upstairs. I was really hoping for a chest. Let's get some more dirt real quick. If I wind up dying again, I wind up dying again. That'd be fine. I can actually I can camp out here. I've pretty much used up all my food getting over here, so. I will have to figure out how to get the food in a minute. Right now, I wanna, I want to explore more up here. Um, by the way, the the reason why I'm here now is because I did some exploring in a creative world. Shit, and uh, I found all these areas. Now, I have to warn you, I did turn off the uh, what the hell. I did turn off the map um, mod. Damn. Oh, there's a chest up here. Uh, because it was dropping my frame rates terribly. Uh, I may have to turn it on and off just to uh, verify certain locations. But uh, if, you've, if you've got it on, just fair warning. It's, um, yeah, it's going to mess you up pretty good. Why is this still loud? It must be in my headphone set. So, um, but I do know that there's something over there that's very interesting that we can't get to right now. So that kind of sucks. Uh, so let's start off with, we need to go ahead, <coughs> excuse me, we need to go ahead and block some areas in so our zombie friends can't get in, because they will be here tonight. Oh, will they be here tonight? Um, and there's just some evil stuff, just evilness, that the mod creators did. It's gotta be in my headphone set. Can't be, y'all, y'all have to, uh, y'all, y'all, you guys must not be having too much trouble with it, because y'all can, do it again. I try to use proper English nowadays. Anyways, where is the sun at? The sun is overhead, perfect. So this uh, this mod pack has a a Q QDM, uh, which basically is a hardcore questing map, um, and it has Vayner Mine on, but I can't seem to get it up. So I'm gonna have to go and look that up somewhere. Maybe go through the config files, figure out what's Vayner Miner's um, button. Because normally it's like shift or something, you know? And it's not even that. Oh, thank god, apples. 
So uh, if you do use this uh, map C, then I'll try to link it down below. If I don't, I apologize. Why am I so slow? Uh, just fair warning, I went and looked around before I started the series. So I had a little time to... Corey? I don't know what the hell that is. I had a little time to look at it. So just heads up with that, okay? Uh, should we get one more? Let's get one more. Just in case. Just momento e queso. Alright, so uh, what we're going to be doing here in this mod pack, uh, typically just like on my other mod packs, I'm going to be learning some new mods, which is kind of cool. Uh, other than that, I'm going to want to start working on uh, the quests, which, uh, which are really cool quests, I, I really have to say. Uh, however, they're very sneaky. So I'm going to fair warn you, you need to... See, I can vein mine on this. Yeah, I could be main vein mining all that, making life a hell of a lot easier for us. I am going to fair warn you, you have to follow the quest book right away. So here we go. Heaven has not has been taken over by an evil dragon and corrupted the angels. All soul oh I'm sorry. Damn, can't read with nothing. <clears throat> Heaven has been taken over by an evil dragon and cor and corrupted angels. All souls destined for glory are now damned to, the li to live in purgatory for all eternity. You must journey to hell and back to gain access to heaven and defeat the evil dragon. Good luck. And a special thanks to all the mod creators in the book. That's just pretty awesome. And of course at the bottom it says, uh, And to everyone that takes the time to make all these wonderful mods for Minecraft. So this is if you've never played with this mod before, it's very easy. It is a quest book, and you have 84 quests right now. You have 10 unlocked uh, quests. You have one completed quest, and you have nine quests available for completion. One quest with unclaimed rewards. So this basically, if you ever open it up and you don't know what you have available to you right now, there it is. I'm not in hardcore mode, so it doesn't. It's not going to show you how many uh, lives I have available. And currently, I haven't died at all because I just started. You can have parties join. This is your reputation bar. You're going to be needing that to get out of purgatory. So, yeah. All right, so let's get started by clicking here. And it says getting started. So, uh, these quests will guide you to surviving in purgatory. All right, there are 23 of them. All right, this is the Minecraft. Of course, the first thing you're going to do is punch trees, get wood. So, we did punch trees. We got wood. Now, it does say over here, any old logs will do. Gather at least 10, but it requires oak. So, heads up on that. I hope that's not as loud as it is for you as it is for me. Next one is going to be making a crafting station, which is super simple to make. Okay, time to go. Time to go. Zombie will be out here in a minute. Any minute, they're going to be out and about. And they're going to want to kill me. And I'm not going to let them. I don't remember if the little onesies can get through here. I don't think they can jump that. So, all right, we're going to get up here where it's a little bit safer. Or safe, I should say. Not safer, but safe. Is there any chest out here? Sometimes they hide chests on the outside. No? No. Okay. All right, I am completely vulnerable right now, so I have to be very careful. Um, all right, so, let's see. We need to make a crafting station. Now, if you've never used Tinker's Construct before, it's a very simple thing. Tinker's Construct is uh, going to be replacing your items, uh, for, like your regular regular vanilla tools. You'll not be able to use them. They'll break, or they're maybe useless to you. So you take a regular crafting station, and you put it back into your crafting area, and it makes a crafting station. There you go. So a crafting bench turns to a crafting station. There you go. The other cool thing about this is that you can put something in here, and it doesn't drop. So that's awesome. All right, so we can go ahead and complete that. We have that. And our purgatory uh, experience goes up, so we're gonna get another bean. Uh, I hope that's not as loud. We're gonna get another uh, sandwich, and look, we are moving. We're getting there. We are sitting at two. Yay, how excellent. Supposedly we need 2,500, but there's only 84 quests, so I hope we get more experience. Oosh. 
If not, it's no big deal. All right, so we're gonna go back into this one. Uh, okay, so now I need to make Tinker's Construct stuff. So Tinker's Construct stuff is pretty easy, and we'll get gravel, which is awesome. Uh, so let's get that going. So to make a Tinker's Construct items, you're gonna need to make uh, stencils. I think that's what they're called. No, I can't remember what they're called now. Damn it! I had my mindset. Okay, hold on. Blank patterns, there we go, blank patterns. So we got eight blank patterns, that should be enough. All right, so, what the fuck is that? Do you see that over there? What the hell is that? I want nothing to do with that, mm-mm, mm-mm. All right, so the first one we're gonna need to make is, I think a tool station? Yeah, or Bart, a builder, okay, that's fine. Uh, we need some planks, and we need one plank. Unfortunately, we're going to need to make some more. And that builds our stencil table. And we'll need a little more. Okay, and then we'll need to make a crafting bench. Okay, now you take it to the crafting bench. You put it out on top of and you get a tool station. And the last thing we need is a... Um, damn, I'm sure one by one. A chest with a... Boop, boop, egg, there you go. This is actually, I think the, um, the art's wrong on it. Or not art, what do you call it? Damn, texture's wrong on it. Uh, it's actually supposed to be a square block, but, uh, if you change it to just a slab pattern, it'll work perfect. You can do this for all of your stuff, which is pretty neat. <clears throat> I like doing this because it, I'll show you why in just a second. <clears throat> Damn, there goes my voice. I need this too, thank you. Thanks. Okay, we can also change this into this. Do not change anything over until you know you've completed the quest because it's asking specifically for these items, not a crafting station slab, okay? And that's what's just me. So, no big deal there. All right, so I'm gonna put that there. Um, Put the crafting table. Shit. Uh oh, I forgot about spiders. Damn. Okay, we can put that there. We should be fine. Whew. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh. Give me some room to work. We need to put the stencil table. Put that right there. The parts builder right there. No, right there. The tool station there and the crafting bench right there. Alright, so what that does is it gives us the ability to uh, have everything on top and we can put a chest. Damn it. We can put a chest on the bottom if we need to. So, monsters, 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 hostels. There we go. That way you can still hear them. Just in case I try something. Alright, uh, so this is our stencils, and we've got four left. Alright, but we're gonna go through our quest book. Because as I mentioned before, if you don't do it by the quest book, you're gonna screw yourself over. So we can claim a reward, uh, we can pick one of these, and we'll get we'll get the full guard, which is kind of like a rare. So we're gonna get that one automatically. Um, I'm gonna choose the gravel. Okay, and the next thing it says is we need flint. Uh, no wooden or stone tools in this pack. Your first tools will be made out of flint. Use the gravel you just got to make some flint. Gravel won't drop flint. You mine, so you need uh, to craft it with using three pieces of gravel per flint in the crafting grid. Notice this a lot, that people are doing that. I wish they wouldn't. I mean, I'd like it being a drop, but, you know, I ain't gonna bitch ain't worth bitching about so we need to make one piece of flint but we're gonna go ahead and just make all flint because this is how we're gonna make our tools boom all right so we can manually go through there boom and we are going to oh we have to make stencils now so now we have to make these stencils axe shovel uh, binding and the um, pickaxe 
which I believe we, yeah, we got four, so that worked out perfect. All right, so there is our binding. Here is our pickaxe. Here's our shovel. And here's our our axe. All right, so we got all three, of, all four of those completed. And sorry about that. Uh, now we need to make tool heads. This is why I said you need to uh, you need to make sure that you you do everything by the book, in other words. So to make the flint heads that we need, this is why I went ahead and made everything up. Uh, we just simply put the flint in here, and voila! Now, if you look up where it says axe head pattern, it says material cost one. And if you hold down shift, you can see what you can make with it. So that's just with these patterns. Later on, you can make iron and copper and all that good stuff. So we're going to switch these patterns. Actually, we can just go ahead and throw these patterns in here. That's the chest right there. It's attached to it. Uh, so we need to do that. Boom. Now the tool binding pattern is a 0 0.5 material cost, which is basically a stick. So as you see, I'm trying not to use up all my materials as quick as I can. Um, because you know you need everything you can get. All right, so we go to the oh no, we go back to the book. I'm so quick, I'm so quick to do it. All right, tool heads done. We got all this done. We can claim our rewards. So get ready for the noise. All right, and finally seeds. We need grape, strawberry, blackberry, and raspberry in order to get some more food. But we can't do anything with that right now. We can't do anything with this one, and we can't do anything with this one. I can't make that one yet, and I can't do that one yet. So, uh, the only thing I can do now actually is um, kind of wait. I'm gonna wait. We're gonna follow. I can't get these until I make them a talk, which is not a big deal. But I need to make this because if I remember straight, I need weapons here, if I remember. So that's a super pain in the ass. I need to find sheep. Oh, I need to kill an enderman. I need to find a rubber tree. And I need to make a pickaxe. So I think we can go ahead and make the pickaxe with certainty. So uh, pickaxe. We can go. Yeah, we can go ahead and make the pickaxe. No big deal. Uh, you can just use a regular stick for it. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that's a good idea or not. So let me look at something real quick. Oh, I didn't make a I didn't make a thing, so I'm gonna have to use a stack. Damn. Okay. Put that back. Boom. All right, and now you can actually rename your tools. So I'm gonna name mine. Pick on you. And that's his name. Pick on you. All right. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and put in for a uh, axe. I'm going to name that Axe on You. Oops. Axe on You. And last but not least, we're going to do a shovel. And we're going to name this one. Oh, I got to click. Oopsie. Grave Digger. Alright, so there's our three standard tools that we will always need. However, we need um, to make another set of these. And we need to go ahead and get this and go back over here to our tool station. And we need the matok, which is actually a hoe. In reality, it is a hoe. It is it's a weapon, it's a shovel, but it is actually a hoe. So I'm going to title it I am a hoe, dang it. Alright, so we've done all that. It's all nice and done. Now with this particular mod pack, you have it where your weapons actually level up. So they'll get random uh, perks on them. So we have a spider somewhere. There he is. Alright, he's dead. 
Do we have anything else in the vicinity? Yes. Damn. Okay. A giant skeleton with 40. This one does 6. This one does 5. 3. So my, my talk is actually for the best. How can I hit him with his back turn like that, I guess? Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Ah. Why aren't you burning? Come on. Come on. I'm not gonna hit him. I'm not gonna... Fuck. Ah. Oh. He's gonna... He's got armor on. Alright, so I'm gonna end the episode here with my death, obviously. It's a great way to, to start your first episode, uh, but I'm always, I'm the king of death in Minecraft. Um, you see how it works now. I'm going to go gather up material now, like a little minion, and start stockpiling. Um, we are in a dungeon, so there's a dungeon below us, so I'm, I'm happy for that. Um, and yeah, that's all I got. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Likes, comments, great. Appreciate it. As always, do this for not for profit. Thanks for getting this lovely entertainment for free. As always, leave a like down below. Let me know what I'm doing right. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Or hell, just leave me a dot. Bye.